Rough weather in parts of our region today, and then I think a pretty good recovery. It's been I mean, yeah, pretty in terms, peaceful. Yeah, in terms of recovery, especially as we shift from one month to another, we're hoping to see the weather shift uh, in a direction that's uh, more favorable. Let's check in right now with KDK meteorologist Ray Petlin. A rough start to the day today, Ray. Oh, and let me tell you, it's, it's been just a crazy week with warm temperatures, cold temperatures, ice, snow, tornado warnings, storm damage. And tonight we're calming things down for a little bit before the rain turns back on, but that's not going to stay as rain as by tomorrow morning. We're expecting it to be rain and snow, so certainly colder temperatures are going to win out yet once again, keeping things very, very interesting for these last days of March and the start of April. 35 mile per hour wind gusts within the last hour here in Pittsburgh, 31 in Franklin. Close to 30 Latrobe in Greensburg down in Washington, 31 mile per hour wind gusts. So it's still gusty and will continue to be that way as those winds slowly start to step down tonight. So the next couple of hours come with those wind gusts attached. Now the worst of the weather that is off to our east right now. So you can see all the lightning strikes, all the severe thunderstorms back into central and eastern Pennsylvania. That's moving out. We're getting the last of our sprinkles finishing up in Somerset County, but we're watching this moisture to the northwest. That will work towards us and set us up for some rain and snow tomorrow morning. So over the next couple of hours, plan on these temperatures to drop. And we're talking getting into the mid to upper 30s in most cases by early tomorrow morning. Now, where you're getting these temperatures down to 34, 32 degrees, we're talking like Newcastle, like Clarion, Franklin, you could see straight snow for a little bit. Good thing it's been so warm the past two days with those temperatures making a run for those 70s, but tomorrow we don't rebound much. We're only going to find our temperatures getting back into the low to mid 40s for high temperatures. So certainly colder tomorrow and cold enough for that rain and snow to be mixed around. We do get a little bump in temperatures on Saturday, a drop on Sunday, and then we'll get a steady climb Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday next week as we return to the 60s for a couple days. But as we lead to that, we're going to see this rain trying to show up by about 4 or 5 a.m. It'll start off spotty and light, but you'll notice up here we're getting some of that snow mixing in that drops in and rain and snow at times tomorrow morning. This will stay a mix to some light rain and snow around for the afternoon. Then we clear it out. We start off Saturday with sunshine. I think Saturday is one of the best looking days of the forecast from this point on with the sunshine and temperatures in the mid 50s, which are typical temperatures. What we've been getting this past week, nothing about it's normal. Now into the start of the weekend, that is what we should be seeing tonight. 37 degrees, showers uh, developing later on, snow mixing in by daybreak. We'll have those areas of rain and snow tomorrow. Back to a nice mixture of sun and clouds on Saturday, 54 degrees there. That's what's normal. And then into Sunday, 47. So we drop those temperatures again with areas of rain and snow. Any rain on Monday will be isolated. We warm it up for a couple days. You could see Tuesday and Wednesday. We're talking low to mid 60s before those temperatures settle down again and rain and snow redevelop on Thursday. So it looks like the start of April is just going to be as interesting as the end of March.